Kendra. Today I have a DIY video for you. This is a chocolate face mask. This entire mask is completely edible, so if you are midway through applying this and you're hungry, just take a look. So I was looking through Pinterest for different ingredients that I could use on my face. And one, which I was just like, duh, cocoa. So this is the cocoa powder that I have. It is by Navitas Natural, and it's a Mayan superfood. It has vitamins. Oh my god, there's ants all over here. Oh no, 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 no. Anyways, this I got off of Vitacost, okay? I got this, I'm trying to think how much this cost me. It's really, ex not like really expensive, but it's pretty expensive at like Sprouts or Whole Foods. So um, I got this on Vitacost originally for smoothies, and I put it in like protein shakes that I wanted to be a little sweeter. And what else did I use this for? I didn't, I haven't really used it for many things, which is why when I saw you could put this in a face mask, I was excited because I feel like I've been wasting this. Okay, so of course, like always, I always take notes on everything that I use so I can let you guys know the benefits that it gives your skin. So, cocoa powder, first of all, is really high in antioxidants. So, obviously, if you're eating this, you're going to get a lot of these benefits as well, but it's also really good for your skin. So antioxidants are so good for the skin, they help repair skin cells, so that's going to keep you looking fresh, keep you looking younger. Cocoa is also going to help firm your skin, so that's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Two more things that this will do, this will help increase your hydration levels to your skin, and with summer right around the corner, this cocoa actually helps protect against UV damage. So if you guys are planning on being in the sun a lot this summer, this is a good mask to have on hand to kind of act as maintenance for your skin, keep it protected, keep repairing it, like use it once a week or so. So that is the first ingredient. The second ingredient, oh, that just spilled everywhere. Guys, <laughs> coconut oil, your second ingredient. This is the Nutiva coconut oil. Any coconut oil you have will work. Just make sure it's a good quality coconut oil that's organic, non-GMO, that sort of thing. Coconut oil, we all know, is great for your skin. It's antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. So when you're applying this to your skin, it's going to kill all that gunk in your pores. This adds a ton of moisture to your skin and it won't make your skin feel greasy or yucky. It really just feels like you have a moisturizer on your skin. This also helps prevent breakouts. I know some people, uh, don't react well, their skin doesn't react well with coconut oil, but for the most part, most people I talk to like it. So this mask is so easy to make. All you do is scoop out about a tablespoon of coconut oil. If it's not liquid already, then microwave it for about 20 seconds, and then put in two tablespoons of the cocoa powder. Now this makes about a couple applications of a mask, so you don't need to make that much, but just make sure you're applying one part coconut oil, two parts cocoa powder, and then you just mix it all together. You can use a brush to apply it on your face if you want to be fancy, but I just use my fingers. Just apply it all over your skin. I let my mask sit for about 20 minutes. The difference about this mask compared to some others, it won't set on your face. So it's going to be fairly, not liquidy, but it's going to be wet on your skin for the full 20 minutes. And then when you wash your mask off your face, it's going to smell like dessert. And it honestly looks like you have chocolate syrup on your face. And when you're washing it off, it's kind of messy, like the chocolate just is all over. But, I mean, it smells so good. The main thing I notice after using this mask is how soft my skin feels. When you wash it off your face, your skin feels so smooth. It's so hydrated. So if you guys want a mask that's a reparative mask, it's going to help really restore your skin add a ton of moisture, I highly recommend you try this out. It's so easy. Anybody can do this. It's two ingredients. You most likely have these already in your kitchen. If you're more acne prone, you can also add honey, just raw honey to the mix, and it'll really help to extract everything out of your pores a little bit more. So that is it for today's video. If you guys want another DIY mask, I did a turmeric DIY mask that's really good at brightening up your complexion. Again, it's all natural products too. I also have a what I eat in a day video that goes over everything I eat in a typical day to give you some gluten-free meal and snack ideas, so make sure to check those out. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can see all my future uploads. And I hope you guys all have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye!